main set of a champion. Oh, here we go. Another Buttermere challenge. Buttermere's got talent. But I don't have any talent. Hello and welcome to Buttermere's Got Talent 2020. I'm your host, Auntie McDectic, and please welcome the judges. Sharon Osborne. Yes, I'm very excited for tonight's show. Hopefully there'll be some good talent on the show tonight, some things that we haven't seen before. There goes my earrings, so let's get started. Diamond Cowell. So we scoured the country looking for Buttermere's best talent. That doesn't seem to be much. However, here is Tegan for Edinburgh. We've marched a thousand miles, fought hard for her rights. Through history we've played our hand, the great woman of this land. Heroisms we have seen, Mary Barber's right army, Jane Hayden. Righteous on our nation. So we are doctors, lawyers, mothers, footballers, first minister. Poet laureate, we're on the move and I'm telling you The glass ceiling's going, we're coming through Rise up, eyes up, take the stage Play your game and don't be afraid You're a work of art, our Jones of Arc Always be proud of who you are Girl, you gotta hold your head up high Don't let this moment pass you by You can be anything you believe You can be, girl this world is waiting just for you So go and shine and show the truth You can be anything you believe you can be. I thought it was fabulous, Tegan, just fabulous It was just incredible, I loved the choice of song It was so uplifting and it actually brought a tear to my eye at one point I think all the judges will agree with me when I say that it was so impressive when you hit all those high notes as it was a very challenging song to sing we definitely won't be needing this buzzer anytime soon because it's a thousand percent a yes from me. Next up is alas originally for Elgin. Let's see what Simon has to say about this. Kim Goodchild is it? And you're going to be rating food for us today I have to say. I've never seen that on this show before so I'm sure we'll be in for a surprise. What? Just one talent? But I've got so many. I can sing. Oh! I can play the chanter. <laughs> I'm obviously really good at football. <laughs> but I suppose my main talent and why I'm famous is for my food ratings and for being a blunt, honest person. Okay, so, so the first thing I'm gonna give Ken is... Are you not? Oh, are you not gonna feed me? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh my god, I expected it to be a Malteser and it's chewy. <laughs> a very chewy texture, sweet. Oh, I know what it is. It's one of those fruity things. What is it? Fruity fruity? No. Have to name it. Mm. Pinball. <laughs> Dude! Mm. Okay. It'd be 7 out of 10, that one. Unexpected. The next thing I'm going to give Tim is... Right, okay, so this is a drink. Oh, do I need to hold it? Yeah. Oh, there's no clue in the glass. It's a normal glass. <laughs> it's bitty. Bitty. <laughs> bitty and soft. <laughs> With... Soft textures. <laughs> it came out and <laughs> it's actually not awful. It's a low one. One. What? What is it? It's not a thing, it's a mixture, is it not? <laughs> no. That's a thing. That's a thing. That is a drink. <laughs> oh my god, is it milk? <laughs> I'm allergic. Okay, my rating is not good for that one. Don't know what that one is. Okay. <coughs> that is honestly disgusting. That's fun. <laughs> Should not be difficult. Oh, another round object. 
That's a bloody blue today. Mmm. <laughs> Not a very sharp taste in blueberry. A low three out of ten. Very mild flavour. Dull, dull, dull. So funny. That's it. Honestly, Kim, at the start of the season, I literally said that if we could find a teacher from Elgin who would rate food for us, it would send this show into another league. And that was exactly what I was looking for. Un. Believable. I think there's only one thing for it. And the last of our audition is tonight as Dibsy, all the way from the hills and the glens of the Highlands. Let's see what she's got for us. <laughs> <laughs> 